That's where our John Cadiz Klimak is live in Calexico with the very latest video from south of the border. John? Hi, Anna. Yeah, we've been showing you some of the damage here on this side, on the U.S. side. The, the damage on the Mexican side is much more extensive as we try to make our way a little bit closer to the epicenter. At first glance, all seems status quo in Mexicali, but look behind the bustling streets and you see it. The buildings that have buckled, the streets that have parted, and the nerves that have shaken. First it was a, a, just a jolt, and then it was a sound louder than I, six years in the Marine Corps. I mean, I've never heard anything like this that, that shook me to my bones like this did. We found Jeremy Danner near Mexicali City Hall. Behind him, a parking garage the city says was supposed to be able to withstand a quake like Easter Sundays. But the structure wasn't finished yet, and luckily, nobody was inside. Jeremy was hiking with his wife and son when the ground began to move beneath them. But what took us 30 minutes to climb up took us about one minute to come down. Jeremy says they made a run for it, dodging rocks, some small, some gigantic. But it looked like the size of a half of a Volkswagen Beetle landed in front of us. And, and little rocks going through us. And I, and I had a hold of my wife and I was reaching back for my son. I wanted to point this out because where the cameraman is sitting right now, it normally wouldn't be able to do that. But where he is, it has actually collapsed in. Look at this, come on up. You can see the difference in the levels here from up here to down here. Quite a big difference, all because of that 7.2 magnitude earthquake that really made this thing buckle. It started some small, small quake. After that, what happened was started really, really shaking, a really, really bad earthquake. Gonzalo Mesa says the town's lucky the quake hit on a Sunday. He says 24 hours later, it could have been more tragic. Now he hopes he'll get federal aid to help rebuild his restaurant supply business, but admits he doubts it'll come. As for others who felt the tremor, some say it even changed the most aggressive hearts. So I got a big old German Shepherd at home, and I swear the thing gave me a hug when I came home. The big question now is just how bad are these aftershocks going to get and are they going to get as bad as some have predicted? Only time will tell for sure. There are going to be some folks who still have power and they once again be sipping with the lights on. We're live from Calexico. I'm John Caddy's Klimak, Channel 4 News. John, terrific job with that report. And when he gets back, he'll have to tell us how he convinced the cameraman to get down yes, into that, that key. <laughs> hole. And here's Mario with a look what's coming up.